So I went to my friend uh, Sanjay Gupta and I said, uh, Sanjay, let's see what we can do because you're doing this film for CP Films and so am I. So he said, yeah, we're doing Atish and uh, it's GPCP's title, but I love the title and I've talked to Sanjay Dutt and he loves the movie and it's a big film and um, we'll make a great film. So I said, yeah, but uh, Mr. Sanjay Gupta, you remember you introduced me to this boy at Bandra International Hotel called Shah Rukh Khan and I've committed that I will use him in a film. So is there a role for him in Atish? Uh, he said, Vivek, just like you've made a commitment to Shah Rukh when we were in college in Sydney, I made a commitment to a friend of mine called Atul Agnihotri that whenever I make my first film, I will cast him. But uh, that I could understand because if I had made a commitment to Shah Rukh, I could understand Sanjay Gupta's commitment to Atul Agnihotri. I met Mr. Rakesh Roshan and Rakesh Roshan said, yeah, this friend of yours is on TV, right? I said, yes, sir. Uh, bring him to my office tomorrow. I may have a role for him. This came out of the blue. So the next day, Shah Rukh and me toodled across to Rakesh Roshan's office, we met, we talked, Rakesh Roshan liked Shah Rukh and Shah Rukh and me both were officially signed together to act in King Uncle. Next day at 7 in the morning, Hema Malini called up my house and Hema Malini talked to me and said, uh, who is the boy who signed Rakesh Roshan's film? I said, uh, his name is Shah Rukh and he stays right here with me. She said, I want to meet him, I'm making a film. I woke up Shah Rukh and I said, hello, Hema Malini is called up. He said, Hema Malini? I said, yeah, she's making a film. Uh, he said, what's the name of the film? I said, Dil Something Hai. He said, I'm not doing any movie and Hema Malini has never directed before. I said, stop talking like an ass. Arguing and fighting, we reached Hema Malini's house. We rang the bell and as we looked around the large living room of that bungalow in Juhu, there was a man wearing a silk lungi and a silk kurta was sitting in a rocking chair and as he put the newspaper down and took his glasses off we kept on staring because it was her husband also known as Mr. Dharmendra so both of us froze so he looked at us and we sort of looked at him Sharo completely froze he started looking at the ceiling started looking for the dogs and so on and so forth and then from the corner from the staircase uh, came down Hema Malini Hema ji looked at Dharmendra and said, wow, something she said, you know, takes a little time to understand uh, the accent. But basically, I understood that she told Dharam ji that these are the boys I called in the morning. They have come from town. So Dharam ji sort of came and shook our hands and left the room. And Hema ji didn't give us a chance. She said, I have 50,000 rupees. You have to do the role. I'm directing the film. I'm a very good director. And in 10 minutes, we were out of the house and he was holding a check for 5,000 rupees. Now, I had made Gawahi for Eagle Films and Rajiv Mehra a few years before. So, Rajiv Mehra calls up and says, uh, there's this boy who signed Hima Malini's film and there's this boy who signed Rakesh Roshan's film and uh, you've been seen with him both the time, so obviously you know something that I don't know. Is this boy a good actor? And I said, yes, he is. And uh, Rajiv Mehra was making Chamatkar at that point. Rajiv Mehra, God bless him, gracefully narrated the whole script of Chamatkar to Shah Rukh. Now he didn't need to, Rajiv Mehra did not need to narrate to a Shah Rukh Khan and before he left Sunday evening, he had signed his third film Chamatkar. So while Shah Rukh was in the process of signing Dilashna Hai and King Uncle and Chamatkar, I was in the process of setting up Raju. We had decided the parameters of the story. We had decided that Aziz was going to direct the film. We had decided that Shah Rukh was going to play the lead in the film. We had decided I was going to produce the film. Though I was the only one who had no idea how this film would be made.